Mexicano is not only filled with delicious food and crafty handicrafts, but it also houses a lot of breathtaking islands, magnificent dive sites, exotic wildlife, and underwater creatures. And there's one particular island that has seen better glorious days. This time, I'm all set to get all sweaty on the island with plenty of crafty work around. Ladies and gentlemen, let's join my escape to Pulau Duyong. once divided into Duyong Besar and Duyong Kecil before they merged. And visitors can either take a boat near Pasar Payang or cross the Sultan Mahmud Bridge to get there. Due to its geographical location and the availability of hard quality raw materials like Pokok Cengal, the island became famous as one of the top places for boat builders and the orders came from all around the world. Unfortunately, due to a number of factors like depleted trees, rising labour costs, shortage of skilled craftsmen and modernization, people now prefer fibre-built boats instead. Now I can't just sit around and let the heritage and craftsmanship of boat building be forgotten. It's time for me to get some heritage lessons about Pulau Duyong from the locals' perspectives. Learn about the local culture and study the life of a seafarer Inche Wan Nordin Wan Abdullah. The plan is to start small and go big, like people always say. I am meeting Inche Wan Nordin, an experienced sailor, expert, and skillful boat builder of both big and small, who is now a miniature and replica craft master. Buk ni di kene ni pulau besar negeri Tengganu. Biasa buk ni dia untuk berdagang. Besar sikit lah dia siapa dekat-dekat kurang daripada seratus kaki ya. Ni dia nama dia apa yang ni? Ini dipanggil perahu kolek lincang. Kolek? Lincang. Kolek lincang. Ha, ini untuk takat ikan. Oh, sama? Sama semua. Oh, cuma ni replika yang lagi besar. Ya, yeah, biasa kita buat buk kayu cengal lah. Dia memang tahan lama. Buk yang betul-betul pun pakai kayu cengal. Oh, dan OG lah. Original punya Original material. Lah, betul lah. Inchek Wan receives orders from all around the world thanks to the magnificent quality of work he produces as people are starting to appreciate the artistic work of miniature boats. He then gave me a chance to experience the nitty-gritty of miniature boat building. Now, I just don't know how it would turn out, but I'm definitely up for the challenge, even with my limited set of skills. Sebelum buat book, kita ada pelang dia. Contoh, okay. pelang dia yang pertama ni awak mesti buat dia punya hal bawah dulu. Oh. Okey, awak ikut dia. Awak buat okay. pen, uh, lukis dia ikut ni. Oh, okay. uh. The beginning process of the miniature boat starts with this block. After the tracing, all you got to do is bring it to the saw table and cut it according to the shape that we just drew just now. So this is the two pieces. So now all you got to do is glue them together. Nah? You really need to focus and concentrate while building the miniature boat. It might be tiny, but it certainly packs a punch. Now, next step, kita akan buat lain macam ni untuk membentuk padang dia. Oh. Ha, contohnya lepas itu awak gunakan kapak ini hmm. tak lebih daripada lain ini. Oh. Oh, when abang one does it, it looks so easy. Okay, get up. It might be just a small scale miniature boat, but I'm already breathless yet overwhelmed by the delicate and intricate process involved. Okay. Okay, sir. Wow, uh, really cute. The proper step-by-step -step techniques are really important in boat building. Visualizing and planning everything out properly are crucial factors to create a masterpiece. Alright guys, I'm halfway done. Isn't she pretty? 
So I already did the painting, the painting job, which is black and white, inspired by Trunganu's flag. But it's not done yet, so don't judge me yet. And also the rigging, which is the ropes to support the main pole. So now all I gotta do is set up the sail. But before we set up the sail, I gotta cut the pieces. Huh? See what I already did the outlines for my sail. So all I gotta do now is trace it and cut it and apply it. Ah, okay, gitu. Sudah escape from KL, a customized sticker for my customized boat. Okay, now I'm gonna stick it on. Another challenging part. Adio, dah siap ni? Siap. Cina, is she pretty? Pula. Terima kasih lah Cik Wan sebab ajar Nita. Nita pun dapat belajar macam mana nak buat boat craft miniature sendiri. I'm so proud of myself. Now that my craft is complete, all that is left is to frame it and admire the beautiful piece we just completed. You have no idea how much I am proud of myself for completing this masterpiece. of demands for terendak, a unique hat made from bamboo. However, nowadays, most fishermen use modern hat and cap, leaving terendak making as another dying art. I am meeting Mek Yong, one of the last few terendak makers here to know more about this fading heritage. Mek Yong! Sehat, Mek Yong. Sehat, Wanita. Ui, cantik, Yong, semua ni. Cantik semua, kan, Jok, tu. Lara, Mek Yong. Ha. Tak apa, Nita nak belajar. Okey, apa langkah pertama kita uh, Nita kena buat? Pilih daun dulu. Pilih ada daun. kerah, ada yang lembek. Oh, ni daun apa ni? Ha, ni pucuk ni apa? So, Saya nak tahu dia lembut ke kerah. Tak tahu. Pilih lidah ni. Ha, ha, ha. Ada lidah. Oh, lidah ni kalau boleh macam tu, ha. lembut. Oh, boleh macam oh. tu. Ha. 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 Ambil tanda dah sini ni. Ha. Ha. Baik tinggi tu. Ah, okay. So slowly split up the palm leaves. Oh, nampak je macam senang lah. Susah tak ni? Ah, betul lah. Hmm? Ni, tengok ni. Oh. Ambil kat gini. Ha, ni, ni. Sama pala, sama pala ni. Ha. Oh. Ha, lipat gini sikit. Ha, mari bus sini pula. Betul kan tangan, lepas tangan betul ni. Oh. Buat gini pula. Agung, ha, semak je agung. Ha, semak. Ha, ha, ha. Ke atas? Ha, ke atas ni. Ha, ha, sedih. Oh, ha, ha. oh. Dah habis semua tadi. <laughs> I hate to say this, but the whole process of making a terenda is very tedious and difficult. Not only it is time-consuming, you have to find all the hard-to-find materials, get them ready for production, and on top of that, make them from scratch. Mek, tapi bukan rutan keras. Uh -huh. Macam mana ya. boleh lembut macam ni? Rendah air sungai. Ya, oh, kena rendah air sungai. Dua minggu, lama? dua minggu. Kalau dah tiga oh. minggu. Lama cukup. Dia tambah, oh. tertindih dengan, dengan batu. Uh, oh. Kalau anggar buat gini, anggar boleh gitu-gini, Mek ambil buat suat naik. Itu uh, dah, dah kira dia oh. dah boleh digunakan lah. Uh, boleh guna lah. With all the hard work and effort that's put into making the terendak, it is sad to say that there isn't much on the monetary part. No wonder only a few are still involved in the terendak making business. But for Mek Yong, the rewards are in the experience. Efforts in preserving the heritage and passing the skills to her daughter. And that's why she's a champ. After learning a bit about boat building, trying my hands on terendak making, I have one more captivating person to meet here. She has
has been compiling everything related to boat building in the many books she has written for the world to know. She just won't let the traditional ways of boat building be forgotten. She is the one and only Puan Rohani Longget, fondly known as Mamo. What's that? Why is so pretty? That's for you. That's for me? Me! Okay. Do I wear this? Yeah. Nak tukar baju? Nak tukar? Oh, tak apa. Saya ada ada cara okay. sendiri. Saya saya sangat pandai. Nak tengoklah Mama, macam mana saya tukar. Ha, di atas sini. Ha, atas sini. Okay, guys. I'm going to change Mama wig, ya? Tada! Dah siap. Mama. Mama molek dok. Okey, cantik. Molek. Ni ke sejarah Pulau Duyung, Mama? Ini saya suka baru keluar buku dan di, dalam buku itu ada gambar orang yang buku awak-awak nakode nakode yang jadi uh, trader nasi uh, beras, beras dari Thailand apa lagi tapi yang utama garam sebab masa tak ada elektrisiti tak ada peti sebenarnya apa yang tertarik mamu untuk stay kat sini sebenarnya Uh, so yang tertarik saya duduk sini sebab ada kerja boleh buat boat ada orang nak buat boat oh. masa itu orang orang luar orang Australia orang Kanada <laughs> nak ada boat dekat tukang untuk dapat dapat boat uh, dengan kayu yang tidak mahal masa itu uh, kayu yang tahan dan yang sesuai untuk buat boat yang ada desain yang bukan saja cantik sesuai untuk laut di sini lah saya nak tunjuk boat saya jumpa 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 Ya, yeah, buat ni mama yang buat tiap tunjuk sikit. Yeah, buat tiap situ buat eh? ni kat depan rumah. Kat depan rumah buat buat ni. Buat ni mama buat kat depan eh. rumah. 1972. Hmm. Owner Rohani Ruget launched in 1980 and spotted Bali, Darwin, Australia, Sri Lanka and Thailand. Hmm. Ala, ada spotted juga. Ada saya semua buat saya khabar dan mana pergi ya. Semua-semua orang yang datang sini buat buat bukan orang Malaysia tau. Ada ni France, oh, England, England Australia, Australia, Canada, macam-macam. So guys, uh, this is Mama's Mama's design. This is Jentayu. Mm. So ni lah kepala boat. This is at the front of the boat. And the best thing about this design, it was used in the movie Merong Mahawangsa. And we actually have the replica here. It's not the actual one because the actual one is used. Uh, it's made by uh, Chenga Wood. Ah, ni mamu ni apa ni? Ini kulit pokok gelam. Nak maksudnya dia boleh hidup dalam air. Oh, so Dan kayu ni duduk dalam air. Dia, dia boleh expand. Itu sebab orang pakai untuk cooking. Tengok, ni. Ah, boleh. Lepas itu papan ini uh, ambil tukul uh, besar. Tatuk gitu. Air tak boleh masuk sebab yang ini dia expand. So kira macam ada kalau ada apa-apa lubang sikit tu, gelam masuk dalam lubang. Dan serap ubat hotenon. Ubat dalam ini ya hotenon. Yang warna karat sikit. Itu sebab dia boleh duduk dalam air. So kiranya benda ni uh, macam Mamu cakap, the longer the boat, the more uh, pasak Ma is pasak. needed. Yeah. So pasak is uh, made from kayu naga. naga. So dia kuat lah. Uh, dengar tu. So kiranya benda ni macam sponge, letak dekat in between all the wood. Cengal, gelam, naga. Perfect combination lah untuk buat boot. Alright guys, so now we've seen everything in theory. We see books and paintings that Mamu showed me. But I want to see the real thing. Where it actually all happened. So Mamu's going to bring me on a tour. And yeah, we're just going to clean up a bit and I'll see you guys later. Okay, Mamu, see you like this. At almost 80 years old, don't let her senior age fool you as Mamo is physically and mentally fit. Perhaps fitter than those way younger than her. An active soul, she invited me to join her for an evening bicycle ride around Pulau Duyong. Sini rumah Nakoda. Ah. Uh, Nakoda, Nakoda Yusuf. Lepas itu, sini rumah Nakoda juga. Tapi dia, 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 dia buat suai. Tapi dulu pokok nangka, saya ingat. Ada, ada dua pokok nangka, satu di korban kandah. Ah, okay. okay. Wow. Itulah sejarah. <laughs> okay, berjalan. Oh, 
Bos kunci biasa tapi dia panjang. Mama nak naik ke? Dah. Tak tengok dulu. Oh ni lah pasak eh. Ya tak nampak ada dalam. Oh ya tapi nampak kayu dia cantum, kayu dia cantum. Cara dia bentuk. Oh, membulat ke dalam. Cantik. Hmm. Dia tak perlu besar-besar. Mama nak tanya, tadi kan Mama cerita pasal pasak tu kan? Ni kau, kat dalam ni ya? Sini? Ya, ya. Ah. So kiranya sebab Mama kata kan masuk air dia kembang kan? Kalau ada sedikit titik atau kelembapan, dia akan kembang. Tapi selalunya Mama dikembang sebelum naik laut ke? Selalunya. Ya, dia, dia siap. Dia siap, siap, siap lah. Dia memang buat semua sekali. Ah, okay. So apparently macam lepas pasak kan, masa kita nak basahkan the jenggal wood. They actually do it everything dah. Dah buat dah. So kiranya, they wet the wood, make sure the wood is all okay and then they build it on the ship. So that is how you get this type of quality, the best quality in the world. Eh, Mama, Mama apa tu? Tunggu lah saya. Buyang. Saya nak tunjuk tu nampak kulit gelam. Ah, uh, in action. Kulit gelam in action. Okay. Kalau atas tak nampak. Ada buat dari luar. Nampak pasak. Nampak pasak tak nampak kulit gelam. Kulit, kulit gelam. Teknik pasak tu. Ah uh, tu. Listening to all Mamo's captivating stories and anecdotes is an experience that you can't put a price on. They are not just straight from the textbook lessons, as I got to know the real deal about the village, and actually see the place where the boat is being built and sample of a chungal tree, which is used in boat building. So back in the day, boat makers will use the wild chungal. The, the chungal is in the woods, but this one is the kampung one. But you see how big it is? Jadi, 
It is only after I got to do all the activities here that I truly understand all the trials and hardship that people like Inche Wan, Mei Yong, Mamo and others go through in the delicate efforts to preserve their arts and crafts. It is such a wonder that Malaysia is filled with handicrafts that are appreciated worldwide. The Pulau Duyo Escape has really taught me the importance of preserving the heritage, which I hope will be continued in years to come. The afternoon with Mamo was definitely the highlight of my trip. Being in the presence of a woman who has lived her life to the fullest, filled with knowledge and experience that will be the envy of most people. And with her sharing a fraction of her stories with me, was such an honor. And the time when she went on her usual bravado mode of climbing up to the roof of the boat, oh my goodness, that got me really worried. But apparently, that was how people used to ride boats when there were no more space inside. The rooftop certainly gives the best view, so I have to agree. After all the excitement that Pulau Duyo offered me, watching the sunset while cruising across the river triggered a self-reflection mode within me. Till we meet again, here's me leaving Pulau Duyong with a heavy heart but filled with memories. <laughs>